Hi, Virgo Sun Rising in Venus. This is what we got going on for January 18, 2024. If you'd like to make a purchase, you can go ahead and do so at tarotbarbie.com. I got Crystal Sage Incense, personal readings, and much more. Tarotbarbie.com. Let's get it. Virgo's coming in with the Ace of Cups, the Judgment card, and the Eight of Cups. You guys may have seen an opportunity for yourselves, but some of you guys decided to choose to walk away from it. I see a lot of things that are happening at this time. I see a lot of people coming in to apologize to you for the way that they had treated you. I see a lot of people from the past who are thinking constantly about you and they can't simply get you off their mind for the way that they had done you. A lot of you people, a lot of these people, <laughs> a lot of these people are still thinking, reminiscing, trying to figure out where you guys could have ended up in a relationship with this person if they decide to just stay on course. They're not in the best places uh, in their life and they're getting older and they're thinking about simply you. <sighs> With the Judgment card, Nine of Swords, Eight of Wands, Page of Wands, and the Temperance card, there could be uh, a gem, an Aries Leo Sagittarius who has judgment being called to them at this time. This could be a younger person. This could have been somebody who is simply doing magic on you guys. And they see you as somebody who's light energy, earth angel energy, light, cute energy. And they are struggling right now in the nine of swords. They are in a lot of despair. It's like singing of their consciousness. It's like messing with their head so badly that whatever they may have done onto you, it has find its way back onto them. And this is somebody who is a little you. This is somebody who's younger than you for sure. And it's to teach their own, to teach their own, to, to teach them to mind their own business. Maybe next time they'll learn their lesson. Coming in with the Judgment Card Nine of Swords, they're definitely in despair. Uh, it's crazy energy here too. Let me just get all that energy out of the way and then we'll just keep it moving. And then I also see here that, okay, too much energy, too much scattered energy, too much bullshit energy. Let's just get it going, Virgos. Uh, somebody here thinks that you're absolutely stunning and absolutely beautiful. They're stressed out. They want to come towards you guys, but they're thinking a lot about what it is that they want to say to you. Some of you guys may have reached out to this person, but they were so childish and immature. It could have been a just Sagittarius. Uh, you guys were having no problems of wanting to simply heal this person, but I think in turn that they just were not ready to grow up just yet. So you guys may have walked away from that person, but they look like they're ready to come back with to you with the temperance card and come back and reconcile the relationship. But then again, it doesn't matter because then there's somebody else coming in for you anyway. Uh, there could have been a Taurus Virgo Capricorn who may have walked away from you or a Libra. This person's going to reach back out to you guys again. And they're coming back towards you to make some sort of offer after they may have walked away from you. If anybody had to travel and they left for a few days, they will be returning back to you and trying to speak to you. But I think by then your energies are going to be a little bit shifted. You're going to be a little bit cold, a little bit detached, very straightforward, very communicative with the Queen of Swords. Uh, but this person definitely wants to balance out the connection between the two of you guys and they want to make the relationship work. Hierophant. So in the end, somebody does want to have a conversation with you. They want to work on the relationship and they want to bring that justice to you and make the connection work. Some of you guys feel like you're not really sure if it's a good idea to allow this person into your life just because there was a little bit of a gap from what I'm seeing. But if you guys are able to just trust the process, if you choose to, you can go with it if you want to. You don't have to, but if you want to, you can go with it. All right, you're, you're, you already look like you're heartbroken anyway. I mean, I don't know how much more heartbroken you could possibly get with the Queen of Swords. You're, you've already been through so much shit in your life that somebody here wants to try and make an offer to you, but they're a knight and you're a queen. So if they're not able to level up and jump into that maturity, I don't know if you guys are really going to want to be in that energy with that person, right? Ah. Uh, you guys gone through a lot of pain in your life with the Six of Swords and the Seven of Wand energy. You guys had suffered a lot of anxiety, but it looks like you guys learned how to change the world around. You changed, you, you, you learned to change the perceptive of what how you view the world and how you see the world. You change that about yourself. And it's very hard for anyone to simply get into your energy now just because of the fact that you had to go through that and you had to learn to un-F yourself. Because you guys had gone through the Eight of Swords, the Nine of Swords, the Ten of Swords of so much pain and recklessness of those who mistreated you, psychologically abused you as well, is exactly why you have no problem walking away. 
You guys have been in fighter mode and survival mode for such a long time that it's time for you guys to heal yourselves and take care of yourselves as well, especially those who, <laughs> they said, especially those who were, were, who were sacrificed. You know, if you were sitting there being sacrificed by the, the most evilest groupings ever, it's like you guys need the most healing at this time because they did a lot of shit onto you, but you're a warrior. And these people seem like they're a little bit confused about why they can't destroy you. Why can't you be destroyed? Because you're a warrior. You come from a different type of uh, DNA. Your genetics are simply different. You cannot be defeated. You'll never will be defeated. You're never going to go nowhere. You're not going to be defeated. You're always going to stay strong. And you are a fighter. And that is what your purpose is meant to be. You can slay any demon at any given time. Then nothing and nobody is going to get in your way. And it's just point period the fuck blank nobody can get in your way and if they choose to get in your way then they have a rude awakening coming towards them you already carry the energy of justice and judgment anyway you are everyone's karma you are everyone's judgment how they choose to treat you will be determined on their on their outcome <sighs> you guys are gonna go towards your healing because that's the right thing that you guys need to do um yes <laughs> there could be somebody who might be in the stardom, stardom, who is just so sneaky with it. <laughs> this person's so sneaky. It's nothing for me to be, I shouldn't be, I shouldn't be laughing about it. I should, there's nothing to be laughing about. <laughs> this person's crazy as fuck. There's nothing to be smiling about, honest to God. This person's crazy as fuck. This person watches you, they, they stalk you, they are always looking at you, they always try and... Do all this sneaky shit with the Seven of Cups, trying to find ways to, like, maybe, you know, make fake accounts with the Seven of Swords and the Page of Swords to try and talk to you. And it looks like they talk to you. They talk to you on fake accounts. <laughs> I I will give them an A for effort because in the end, I don't actually see that this person wishes any harm on you. I don't see any harm coming in out of the situation. I just see somebody who doesn't have the balls to simply talk to you and they just do... The, the most uh, sometimes. <laughs> this person's a fucking joker. Okay, so... <laughs> they I guess they make a lot of fake accounts. They be watching, they be stalking, they be looking. And they're like almost confused by their own behavior. They're like, why am I acting crazy? <laughs> they don't even know why the fuck they're acting like that. And I think it's just simply because of the way that you, who you are, you are the entire package. You are the divine feminine. I don't think any of this person has ever in their life ever felt this giddy about you or ever felt this type of way about any woman or any man. It's just like something about your persona, something about your energy with the magician to the star card. It's like, I have to have that one. That's the one that I have to have. I need that one. I have to have that one. That's the one that sits on top of their head. They are always focused on you, thinking about you. And <sighs> so spirit is pretty much saying that this person needs to stop with their bullshit with the seven of cups. If you want to go talk to someone, go go on and go talk to them. Knight of Wands, Ace of Pentacles. There's an opportunity. You got to get the green light that if you want to go talk to them, you can talk to them. Page of Cups and the Ten of Swords. You know, you've been through hell and back. You've been betrayed a lot of times in your life. And it looks like this person does want to reach out to you and maybe even apologize to you as well. I am always picking up that there's almost four people in this energy uh, that want to come and apologize to you. And it's almost going to be like an overlap. It's going to be like boom, 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 boom. Maybe within like seven days of each other. Could be. Could be. Or two days or whatever the case is. But it looks like there's a few people coming in to just simply find a way to apologize to you. Um, I'm almost like you guys, it's almost like you guys are going to be hearing, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm not sure if someone here is going to try and do a spell to say sorry to you without them directly coming towards you and apologizing to you that's still a coward i mean i like no cowards up in here especially a man who's needing to be a man go go on and go be a man if you can't be a man then just fall back and just don't make a move at all and don't even bother apologizing if, if it has to be like that with the ace of pentacles page of cups head of swords you have been going through a lot of stuff and I think deep down, some of you guys were wondering what happened to this person. Like, what happened to that person, Alex? What happened to Jacob? What happened to, I don't know. <laughs> what happened? What happened to Stephanie? What happened to these people? Some of you, I think some of you guys actually think about it sometimes. 
about what happened to certain people, but it looks like some of them are going to actually reappear out of nowhere and just re-enter back into your life again. Um, there is a Cancer Pisces Scorpio from the past who is thinking a lot about you. They're reminiscing a lot. Of, they're reminiscing about you. They're thinking about you. They're having a lot of nostalgia. They have memories of you too. This person is really feeling like the butterflies in their belly. They're feeling kind of sick to their stomach because on an emotional level, they know that they 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 should be offering. They should have. But I mean, in the end, it is what it is. Should happen sometimes, and we can't blame people for why life happens it's either it's meant to be and god's willing to do that for you or it's just gonna happen and it is what it is and you can you can drink on that beer on that cold beer and you can be miserable all you want it really all depends on how you choose to want to live your life and i do believe that they do drink on that cold beer with the king of cups and they do think about a lot about you and they think a lot about how they could have had a family with you children with you and they keep this hidden in their feelings with the moon energy could have been a pisces or even a cancer but they do think quite a bit about you guys have had a lot of men and a lot of women coming into your energy that was just nothing but a waste of fucking time a waste of time it's like what is the point of any of you guys coming back like that's the part that i'm thinking like how are you guys all going to be re-entering back into a virgo's life or vice versa I'm not understanding. You fucked around the first time. Why are you trying to think that you can come back for the second time? If Virgos choose to accept it, okay, go on, go do your thing. But I'm still not seeing anything promising. In the end, there will be something f f sufficient for you guys. But it's like you guys got to go through all this dumb shit first just to get to where it is that you guys need to be. And it's crazy energy. It's crazy energy. The Knight of Wands wants to come and offer you an apology. He sees the green light. Okay, and then what? Apology, okay, apology accepted. And then what? I don't think you guys are going to really fucking forgive him. It's a ten of swords. The energy's done. It's done. There's no coming out of this. Like, I, that's, the, that's the thing. It's like, what is the point of the things that people are doing? You want to come and make amends with somebody? Okay, apologize to them and get the fuck out. Like, that's how exactly the energy I'm getting on the ten of swords. Like, apologize to them and then get the fuck out. Get the fuck out. Just get out of here. <laughs> just, get, just skedaddle. Let's get fucking skedaddle, fucking you and your fucking apology. But they have to apologize because the only way that they're gonna feel good about themselves is if they actually do something to apologize to somebody that they know that they hurt tremendously for what they what they did in the past. They were manipulative. They saw an opportunity to lie to you, talk shit to you, not offer you a whole lot. This person became cold and detached. They were sneaky with you. They were confusing you. They gave you mixed signals. They didn't know what the hell they wanted. They were a player. They saw an opportunity. Now they want to come towards you. Now they want to apologize to you. But the connection's done. Boom. Get out of here. Even I don't, I think that's just simply how you guys, how I'm acting now is exactly what you guys are going to be doing in the end. That's how you guys are going to be acting in the end. Because nobody knows me. <laughs> nobody, nobody, I don't talk to nobody. So this is not, this is not something that I would never act like that towards people. If, you know, with that energy, no, that's you guys. You guys are going to let people know exactly where to kick it. There is the four of pentacles that somebody's still holding on to your energy after they still couldn't figure out what the frig they wanted. They're trying to figure out how to make the changes and transformation to come back towards you, but they are in their ego energy, obviously, with the Emperor card, and they're worried that if they were to come towards you as the Emperor, that you're still going to reject them. And this person's going to simply going to fight with you. Excuse me, they're going to fight with you because you're going to reject them. Why don't you ever want me? <laughs> How come you don't want to be in a relationship with me? How come every single time I could come in and bring an offer to yours, you, you never want it? I think because you guys are just so done sick and tired of this shit. You're sick and tired of people and men and women who don't know what the fuck they want. You're sick and tired of men who are unsure of themselves. You're sick and tired of men who are insecure. You want to boost someone's ego, but that they want you to boost their ego, but they don't even know what the hell they want in a relationship or what the hell they want in their life. It's a turnoff. It's a turn off. Four of cups just fucking turned off energy. Really turned off energy. Five of ones. And now they're fighting with you again. Like you don't have time for the bullshit. And then you guys end up meeting somebody else now. <laughs> you guys got so many people in your energy. It's crazy. 
Queen of Pentacles, you guys got a really great relationship with somebody that's coming in for you. You guys could simply be a match if you guys want to be. You could be if you want to be. But this person is still chilling and doing their thing. While you're a homebody with the Queen of Pentacles, the lovers, you guys got a really great connection with this person. They find you attractive, you find them attractive. It's almost like you guys look like each other in a way. But this person is fucking around. Could be another Virgo. And you guys are reflecting on the fact that maybe this person isn't paying you so much attention because they're still paying other people attention. Still chilling with their friends, giving them their time. Spending money and drinks and doing all that dumb shit. Clubbing, whatever. So you go within, you shine your light, you do your little stalking investigation shit. And then you fucking get out of there and you move on with your life. And then you end up meeting somebody else. Aries Leo Sagittarius, who is truthful. <sighs> this person sees and has the clarity when it comes to you and your energy. Whatever it is that you do with the Nine of Wands or the Three of Pentacles, you're very defensive and you're very much so in fighter mode. You're a fighter. You're a fighter. You've always been a fighter. You're always going to be a fighter. You're the type of person that will throw hands, no problem. I see fighter energy. I see warrior energy. I see somebody who doesn't put up with no one's bullshit I see somebody who's been through a lot of abuse in their life. So if you're a woman and you, you've gone through abuse, I see that you have no problem KOing a fucking dude. And that's because life didn't treat you the best. That's because men had abused you. And you don't have no problem <laughs> fucking KOing. <laughs> KOing a man. Oh my God, I do not know <laughs> Oh my god, Virgos, do not, because a man's strength is a lot more stronger than yours. Don't do it. <laughs> oh my god. The way you think is like, all I hear is, you don't even fucking know, Barbie, I'm gonna fuck them up, I'm gonna fuck them up. And I'm just like, yo, you can't do that. They're like, I don't give a fuck, I don't even care, I'll take a shot, I'll take a shot. And they're just like, no, you can't let a man hit you like that. You're like, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> Yo, I'm not laughing like that. I'm laughing because you're so stubborn to the point where it's just like you won't let no man disrespect you or fucking cross you. That if you feel like that you need to, you, it's like you're in the uh wrestling ring and you know like John Cena fucking style. I don't even know, Virgo. It's so funny the way that this energy is. It's like, okay, let's talk about it. Listen, ladies, do not, do not be KOing any mans out here, okay? Because you might just meet a man who's going to just KO you right back. You know? <laughs> oh my God, don't fucking do it, yo. Don't do it. I see you strong, you strong warrior woman you, but don't do it. Just don't do it. Don't get yourself involved in stuff like that. You cannot. Because there are men who really do beat, beat up women out here. And if you hit a man, they might not have no problem hitting you back. So you just better just stay off, uh, off of that energy immediately and just take on a softer approach and just jump into that queen of cups. And you're just like, I can't, what the fuck? You're like, but they're like, Barbie, if I end up showing them that I'm the queen of cups and that means they're going to think that I'm sweet and I'm too cute and I'm too weak and they think that they're going to be able to run me down. No, the fuck. The you know, stubborn energy for real. But it looks like you do figure it out and you end up changing your persona and taking on the more softer approach eventually. But violence is not the answer. Domestic abuse is not the answer. You worked really hard on yourself to be where you're at today. It's okay that you're a survivor and it's okay that you are a fighter. But it's not okay to uh, retaliate in violence and hitting people. Uh, learn to use your words. <laughs> Choose your words wisely and articulate your communication. All right, It's very important to do stuff like that. Um, anyways, between you and this Aries Leo Sagittarius, I don't believe the connection is over just as yet. I feel like maybe the energy just got stagnated between the two of you guys with the World Card Five of Pentacles. You probably were just really upset about the entire thing, but I think in turn, it will be coming back down towards you guys, Sun Card and the Eight of Pentacles. This person is still going to reach out to you. Um, they know that they want to come back towards you and work on the relationship. And I think that's something that would make you guys very happy with the Eight of Pentacles. Um, but in the end, it's like if they're not going to be able to pick up their feet with the world in reverse, then you don't, you don't really fucking care. But in the end, they're still coming back to you regardless. 
they're still coming back to you regardless because it's the Eight of Pentacles to the Knight of Cups. <laughs> this person sees that you've been through a lot of challenges and a lot of difficulties, especially when it comes to love. You suffered a lot of pain, but you also suffered a lot of heartache too. Not just you, but they so did too. Somebody here ha is still suffering from pain, so maybe they're just drinking a little bit maybe a little bit more than they should be drinking, but they feel like you're everything and more. They feel like you have a connection with them. They feel happy when they're around you. They feel like you're also able to heal their energy. Just you simply being around them can instantly heal them, right? And whoever they were in a relationship with before, they definitely caused them a lot of pain, a lot of heartache. They betrayed them really badly. I'm almost picking up that somebody slept with someone's brethren. You know, the most conniving thing ever. You know, how are you sleeping with your your boy's brethren? Uh, you, you know, how? how? Like, how are you sleeping with your man's brethren? Or vice versa. I'm not understanding. Like, that's the most, yo, know, that's crazy. And then what is everybody going to say on the streets? <laughs> you know what I mean? It's just not good. It's not good energy. You need to be a little bit more mindful than that. Because that's your fucking name and that's your reputation, bitch. You better bet. You better fucking figure that shit the fuck out. Letting man fucking say, oh yeah, they ran through you. They ran through you. It's something to be proud of, right? It's not nothing to be proud of. Grow the fuck up. And how dare you make her another man because of your selfishness. Just slimy energy. And I'm not really into it either. Page of Pentacles, the fool card. <sighs> you guys might have somebody who wants to come back into the relationship here in this energy, but they're coming back in as a fool, meaning that they're going to come in acting like they did not do nothing to you, that they didn't do nothing to you, they didn't do nothing to hurt you, they didn't, they, they're going to act like they didn't do shit to you. And you're just like, bitch, get fuck out of here. You're too strong, you're too powerful, you're too victorious, they're going to have to reintroduce themselves to you. It's almost like an ego boost in a way. It's like, yeah, I knew, bitch, you were going to come back. <laughs> Yo, this energy is so wild today. And they're going to have to come to the realization that they're going to have to remember what it is that they did to you, whether they like it or not. Five of Cups. I see that this person's going to be crying a lot too, being hysterical, uh, sad as well, because they're selfish and they thought that them being goofy with you i'm hearing goofy somebody here is acting like they're goofy and the reason why they're goofy is because of the fool card you're coming back to somebody's life without an apology after what you just did to them and then you want to come back into their life as if you can control them like as if you got the front row seat as if you got steering wheel whatever the case is and then you think that you're just gonna simultaneously <laughs> get this person back you want you're hoping that you guys can both work on this on the relationship together and you guys can work and move forward to it but I don't see that happening at all you know yeah I don't I just don't see it happening it's just not gonna happen you have your own feelings that's cool good good for you queen of wands you think that you can just get anybody back because you're so gorgeous you beautiful gorgeous bitch you but unfortunately, that's not how shit works. Your beauty needs to match your heart and your heart has to match your beauty. And whatever it is that you did to hurt and to betray somebody is exactly why they don't want to fuck with you no more. Five of swords, two of pentacles, you guys are getting the fuck up out of there. No, you're leaving them where they're at, hangman. And you're coming up with some sort of plan because you don't have time for the low vibrational toxic bullshit either. No. You guys are strong, you're independent, and I, all I hear is, I don't need a man, Barbie, I don't need a fucking man. And I think in turn, it's like, this is what you guys are saying to yourself, like, I don't need a man. I don't need a man, I don't need a girl, I don't need to be with anybody. You don't, you don't. You don't have to be with anybody. I'm not saying you have to. You don't have to be with nobody. You can live your life and be free. Go, go live the life that you want. Go do whatever it is that you want. I feel like I'm hearing you guys' thoughts. You guys, <laughs> I feel like I'm hearing you guys' thoughts. It's so jokes. <clears throat> and the fact that you guys are very mysterious and quiet is an intuitive oh, may make somebody become a little bit restless you know but they do definitely see something that they could be with you with the ten of cups but i mean i don't know what this person is really wanting in the end it, they are gonna either have to accept for you accept you for who you are you being too independent um, I don't see the tower card being actually a really bad thing. I see it more so being like a breakthrough for you guys for all the negative shit you guys have been through. So it's like your life ends up changing eventually. You're going to allow your intuition to simply guide you in all areas of your life. Um, 
Pluto's coming in for you guys uh, on January 20th. That's going to be great for you guys on the priestess energy. I see Pluto on the priestess energy. And I see you guys embracing your dark side as well. But I also see justice being balanced out on the priestess energy. So for those who are coming up against the chosen ones, the light workers and all that stuff, they're going to have a very, very much a rude awakening. I also see Virgos that there's going to be a lot of people who are going to try and come back towards you. It's almost like someone's going to take fast action to come towards you to kind of like scoop you up in a way and then immediately put you in a position of creating a family with you. And then that will be the breakthrough of the tower card. If you want it, you can have it. <laughs> if you don't, it's not a big deal. But I think in the end, it's like whatever you guys want to do, you guys can do. But you guys got a lot of people in your energy and it's just like boom, 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 boom. You guys got a lot of people in their feelings. You guys got a lot of people who kind of want to be and act like you. You got a lot of people who are stressed out over you. You guys got a lot of people who are not taking you seriously and they should grow the fuck up. Especially you, Mr. King of Pentacles, grow the fuck up. You guys got you got some someone who's healthy and beautiful on your side and you're still choosing to fucking go be with the street cats? Yo, fucking grimy energy. Go fuck yourself. Straight up. <laughs> <laughs> and then you got this motherfucker over here he's like all egotistical fucking macho man over here huge motherfucker and they want to come and talk to you and be with you but you're not giving them the time of day thanks cuties bye